Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. I'm Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so happy that you made it back today. I'm also feeling very happy because I love the activities we're going to learn about this week. Maybe you're excited for the activities too. If you're excited and happy, your face might look like this. You already know how I like to check how I'm feeling and that's by looking in the mirror. So, hmm, I wonder what color mirror am I going to use today? I have a special riddle that's gonna help us figure it out. Are you ready? So let's see, I'm gonna read it to you. Here it goes. You might sometimes see this color on the feathers of a parrot. It's the name of a fruit and the same color as a carrot. Can you figure it out? Let's see, color of a carrot. Yes, orange, that's right. I'm gonna use my orange mirror to check how I'm feeling today. Let me grab that. Let's see, hmm. Hey, well, I think I know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to check in on how you're feeling by pointing to the picture on your screen. Let's watch together. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. It is so important for you to check in on how you're feeling. And remember, don't forget those around you, even your pets. Now today we have a special friend that's sharing their story with us. His name is Jack. Look, J for Jack. Can we say hi to Jack? Hi, Jack. Now in this picture, Jack is remembering a time when he had to wear very formal clothes. He didn't like to wear those clothes. He likes more casual clothing. So let's see, how is Jack feeling? How can we find out? Yes, we can look at his face for clues. Let's do that together. So I notice in this picture that Jack is not smiling. In fact, the corners of his lips are turning down. And look at his eyes. They're not bright and full of stars like if you're happy. They're kind of downturned too. And if I check his body language, his shoulders are kind of slumped. What do you notice about the picture? Do you think that Jack is feeling happy? If you think he is, make a happy face like this. If you think that Jack is feeling grumpy, make a grumpy face like this. Hey, let me take a look. Ooh, Jack, I see a lot of grumpy faces. We think you're feeling grumpy in this picture. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And boys and girls, if you want to share your story too, make sure you ask a parent, a family member, to send it to the address below. Okay, so let's look. What time is it? Time to check our visual schedule. Let's do that together. So let's see. First thing we did is our emotional check-in and then we worked on our we're going to work on our weekly investigation and I'm so excited this week we're going to learn about construction workers they're the ones that build the things all around us we have so many fun activities planned and then we're going to sing our goodbye song do you remember that we have a new one with the different letters of the alphabet now, before we do that and move on to our intentional message, I always have a movement card for you. So let me get that out. 
when I flip this card over, there's going to be a letter and there's going to be a movement that starts with that letter and we're going to do it together. Are you ready? Da 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 da! E! Letter E! E for elevate! Elevate your arms. So we're going to do that together. Let's see. Here's our arms. We're going to go up four times. Ready? One, two, three, biggest one, four. Wow, you reached so high. Now let me grab my pointer and we'll go to our intentional message. Here it is on this side. Now an intentional message helps focus our work for the week. Here's what it says for this week. A construction worker is someone whose job it is to work on construction sites where structures are being built. Now structures is just a fancy word for buildings like the ones all around us. Construction workers use many tools and machines. Now I brought some very special tools to share with you boys and girls. Let me reach into my basket and show you. Let's see. I have today something really special. It is a tool belt. This is what construction workers use to keep their tools in. Look at it, it has lots of different pockets. And I actually looked today and there's stuff in the pockets, like a big nail. Wow. So I'm gonna put this one down and I'm gonna show you another tool that we're gonna use for our song today. Do you know what this tool is? I'll give you a clue. It works with the nails I just showed you and you use it to pound things in. Yes, it's a hammer, that's right. That's a hammer and actually you usually use it with a piece of wood and some nails to pound things in. All right, let me show you another tool that we're going to use for our song today. Look at this, it is a saw, yes. It's a different kind of saw where it's not all solid. There's a big hole in the middle and it has teeth. Not teeth like you and I, but teeth that are sharp so that you can saw into the wood. And it makes a really funny sound when you do it. Let me grab my wood. And we're gonna can you hear that? Okay, so we're gonna use our saw and our hammer to sing a brand new song today. So the song goes like this. I'll sing a little piece so you know the tune. It goes, this is the way we pound our nails. Ready? We're gonna do it together now. This is the way we pound our nails, pound our nails, pound our nails. This is the way we pound our nails so early in the morning. Now, did you notice I pretended my hand was a hammer and I pounded the nail? All right, now the next one is our saw. Do you remember how I sawed the wood? We're gonna sing that part now. This is the way we saw our wood, saw our wood, saw our wood. This is the way we saw our wood so early in the morning. Really great. We're gonna try it one more time. A little bit faster now, ready? Get your hands out. This is the way we pound our nails, pound our nails, pound our nails. This is the way we pound our nails so early in the morning. And last one, get your saws ready. This is the way we saw the wood, saw the wood, saw the wood. This is the way we saw the wood so early in the morning. Great, now we have a video where we got to interview a construction worker and they're gonna talk about all that they do and show us some tools too. Let's watch together. Let's meet a construction worker. So what does a construction worker do? Well, construction workers do everything from the ground up. Um, there's multiple trades. There's plumbers, electricians, carpenters, um, roofing guys. Do the underground, which brings the plumbing electrical into where the building's gonna be from another source. And then the concrete crew does the foundation formwork. And then the buildings come in and get set, or if they're stick frame, and then you have drywall finishes, insulation, electrical, plumbing, 
and then uh, there's casework, and then the finishes. There's ceiling work as well. Uh, those are also that's also a carpenter trade. So they basically build everything that goes into the building and install it. How did you become a construction worker? I started with the uh, carpenter's apprenticeship. I did that for four years and I journeyed out. So it's a, it's a good school. You learn a lot, you meet a lot of uh, nice uh, people, and that's where I, I got myself to work here. What is your favorite part of working in construction? I think my favorite part is working with all my hand tools, my skill saw, my hammer, you know, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. Speaking of tools, what kind of tools do construction workers use? Well, there's lots of tools that construction workers use. Some of the most basic is a hammer for driving nails and pulling nails. The claw set is for removing nails. You have a nail bar that you use for demo or pulling nails. It has teeth to pull nails. Or you can drive something in here to remove drywall or plywood or anything. Another one of the most basic tools is a tape measure. This is critical for all trades. Every trade, every type of construction worker needs a tape measure so they know where to mark the dimensions and where to put the materials in the building. Then we have impact guns and screw guns that are battery operated and that's again useful for everything. You plywood, drywall, materials that you hang on the walls. Another basic tool is a square. This is a carpenter's friend. You use it so that you can put things in square and this is adjustable as well. I wonder what the loudest tool you use is. The loudest one is, is our, our chipping gun. A lot of uh, power in it. it. Makes a lot of noise, a lot of dust. Construction work sounds messy and fun. Do you know anyone who works in construction? Maybe you can ask them what it's like. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Goodbye. Remember, you can learn all about construction workers in the books around you. And don't forget to check the Sora app. Hey, it's time to check our visual schedule to see what we accomplished today. So let's see. We did our emotional check-in. And remember, you want to do that throughout the day. We started our work around construction workers. And now it's time for our goodbye song. Will you sing it with me? Let me stand up here and get my dinosaur pointer. Here we go. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I, have to go now. J, K, bye bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me. S, T, you are my best friend. V, W, X, Y, Z. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget, Miss Laura sends you a big smooch and a big squeeze. And remember, read, play, and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.